When you have concluded the matter before the arbitrator, the courts ordinarily should only come into play at the stage of enforcement of the award. Arbitration cannot thrive uh, if the courts leave it alone but only if they are actively supporting and protecting the process. There will be a paradigm shift in the balance of power insofar as the management of African disputes is concerned. This is a conference which has the promise to help shape the future of ADR and arbitration in Africa. What do we want the conference to be? What system of ADR do we want to create? And perhaps more importantly, do we have to be limited by the paradigms that already exist in other jurisdictions? Or can we leapfrog those systems to create something new? I'm beginning to see a very definite shift in the thinking of um, both practitioners within the justice system as well as users of the justice system. Uh, certainly the court mandated mediation project has enabled us to get our people thinking there are alternative ways in which to resolve disputes. When we look at the commercial environment, we're also seeing more and more uh, people contracting, uh, thinking about their dispute resolution uh, mechanisms, arbitration, mediation, um, and we're seeing the judiciary also embracing this and ensuring that uh, they, they require parties coming to courts to abide by the contracts that they have made with respect to the mechanisms they elected when they were contracting. The beautiful things we are learning is that even judiciary acknowledges that it is not the only place where you find justice, where you find a way of resolving disputes. Arbitration, is well recognized and when parties choose to go to arbitration in the event that they have a dispute the courts will enforce that clause in the agreement. ADR is something that has to be encouraged. The courts are not the only place where disputes can be resolved. Indeed traditionally it's common for all of us to sit down and try and resolve our disputes whether it's between friends, family or, or colleagues in a more informal manner. Those issues, those forms of resolving disputes need to be explored because the courts are extremely busy. The need to rethink about the entire global system. As a continent we feel that there is uh, a lot that can be done to accommodate, uh, to include the continent uh, more broadly in international investment uh, forms of dispute resolutions. African disputes by Africans about resources in Africa cannot continue to be deliberated upon in European capitals by European lawyers and European arbitrators and European Defense Council. It is not tenable. But the flip side of that coin is this. We in Africa require to acquire the necessary intellectual and professional resources to step up to the challenge. It is one thing to say that we are not being appointed uh, to exceed arbitrations, for example, or ICC arbitrations, so on and so on. But it is another to demonstrate that if and when appointed, we are able to step up to a very high degree of performance. We want to bring the, the continent to be included in arbitration, but we also need to bring these other modes of dispute resolution at the table. We were told yesterday about the Singapore Co Convention on Mediation, and that's just one demonstration that the world is moving uh, beyond, beyond arbitration and bringing on board these other means of, of dispute resolution. I would like to see greater support for Africa and Africans as um, dispute resolution practitioners, as dispute resolution destinations, Nairobi in particular as a hub for regional dispute resolution, uh, regional dispute resolution of both arbitration and mediation. 
so that when we have investor and state disputes, when we have party-to-party uh, -party disputes, whether of a corporate or commercial nature, or even a family nature more locally, then we are the go-to in terms of uh, the, the center that is able to administer these disputes. Something that has been raised, I think, by Anish earlier was online dispute resolution. This idea that irrespective of your seat, you can determine your um, dispute in a way that, you know, uses technology in the best way um, possible. So this allows you to have a lot of mobility and global reach. Technology will fundamentally change how disputes are managed, how pleadings are drafted, and how hearings are held. Technology may also hold the key to how decisions are made and how compromises are achieved. I look forward to hearing ideas that will be exchanged on this issue, which could be the real game changer for Africa. Importance of using technology, because the most expensive thing in arbitration is the fees and the costs of traveling. When you use technology, you have video conferencing, and you can therefore even do arbitration when the experts remain where they are based. You don't have to spot them. The other thing that online dispute resolution helps parties with is the collation of documents that are relevant to the dispute. So they can all be uploaded onto a database, they can be categorized, and they can be shared in a way that is secure um, so that only certain people are given access. One of the key resolutions, therefore, has been that we need to look at uh, a shift in paradigm uh, so that we can come up with frameworks that will incorporate ideals that are African, that have a pan-African approach, and also that will enhance the capacities, especially of our centers on the continent, to be able to provide um, an efficient, fast, uh, cost-effective uh, service to those who are looking for uh, international dispute resolution. need to uh, rethink seriously the laws that exist with regards to arbitration. Two, the need to re-examine how to conduct international arbitrations and how to ensure that international arbitrations are done in a more cost-effective manner than they have been done before. Three, the need to properly uh, craft arbitration clauses that are beneficial to all parties, especially the contracting states. The beauty of arbitration is that the parties have much more control over the procedure and it's up to them, they can ask, ask the arbitrators that they deliberate within a certain period of time or that the procedure is shortened to allow for an expedited procedure. That flexibility is something that you don't have in the court system.